Hello friends, Bishop Andy C. Ludi here, the historian of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship, and I am delighted to welcome you to another one of my This Week in Church History. This is something that we do to improve your skill set and to widen your own knowledge base. And so on behalf of myself and the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship, along with my local ministry, the Hollywood Full Gospel Baptist Cathedral of Amityville, New York, and the Queen's Ministry of New York City, I am delighted to say welcome. Now, stick with me to the end because there are some amazing links that I want to share with you where additional information is available. This week in church history. A grandson of King Abiadon through his mother, Aphala, Ajayi, was around 12 years old when he and his family were captured along with his entire village by Fulani slave traders in March of 1821 and sold to Portuguese slave traders. His mother, Aphala, who was later baptized with the name Hannah, toddler brother, and other family members were all among the captives. His father, Ayimi, was most likely killed in the raid of the village or shortly thereafter. Now the British outlawed the Atlantic slave trade in 1807 and used their navy to patrol the coast of Africa. However, during that period, Spain and Portugal still allowed the Atlantic slave trade in their colonies in America. Before the slave ship left port for the Americas, it was boarded by a crew from a British Royal Navy ship under the command of Captain Henry Leake. The British freed the captives and took Ajayi and his family to Freetown, Sierra Leone, where they were resettled by local authorities. While in Sierra Leone, Crawford was cared for by the Anglican Church Missionary Society and was taught English. Due to his remarkable intellectual qualities, Ajayi was sent to school and within a short time he was able to read the Bible with ease. As a result, he was converted to Christianity. On the 11th of December in 1825, he was baptized by John Rabin, naming himself after Samuel Crowther, vicar of Christ Church, Newgate, London, and one of the pioneers of the CMS. Let me also say that the CMS was in Niger territory in 1888. Now, while in Freetown, Crowther became interested in languages. In 1826, he was taken to England to attend the School of St. Mary's in Islington, which had established a connection with free Africans in the 18th century. He returned to Freetown in 1827. He was the first student admitted to the newly opened Foray Bay College, an Anglican missionary school. Because of his interest in language, he studied Latin and Greek of the classical curriculum, but also Timney of West Africa. After completing his studies, Crowther began teaching at the school. Now, Crowther's missionary journey to Nigeria began in 1841. He represented the missionary arm of the Niger Expedition alongside Reverend J. F. Scon. Crowther was ordained a priest and selected for the CMS project in the Yoruba mission on his second visit to England in 1843, after his brilliant account of the expedition and the rare qualities he displayed. In 1846, Crotha and Reverend Townsend opened the CMS mission in Abiokula of Nigeria. During the 1854 Niger expedition, Crotha had a hand in the founding of the missions in Niger. In 1864, Crotha was ordained as the first African bishop of the Anglican Church. He was consecrated a bishop on St. Peter's Day in 1864 by Charles Longley, Archbishop of the Canterbury, of the Canterbury Cathedral. Crotha had continued his studies and later received the degree of Doctor of Divinity from the University of Oxford. He later met Queen Victoria and read the Lord's Prayer to her in Yoruba, 
which she described as soft and melodious. Well, friends, that takes up just about all of my time, and I certainly want to thank you for yours. Now, at the bottom of the screen, I am listing a link where you can access additional material that we have prepared in the area of church history. And because we don't want to confine ourselves to a particular reformation, I am sharing now with you a second link that can be used for the same purpose. Listen, tell a neighbor, tell a friend that uh, this week in church history, coming from Andy C. Luda, historian of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship and senior pastor of the Hollywood Full Gospel Baptist Cathedral of Amityville, New York, and the Queen's Ministry of New York City is sharing with you. So until next time, do know God loves you. We love you. We look forward to seeing you real soon. Go in peace, joy, love, and happiness, but the author of the same goes with you. <laughs>